Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How It Out. Tonight we are going for a beer from Russia. Which one is it? It's this one. It is the Baltica number no. 7 premium export lager. And it weighs at 5.4% ABV and it was kindly gifted to me by Moza. Uh, it's beer that he wanted me to review to get my thoughts on it and so uh, that's what we're doing tonight. Uh, so yeah, so like I say, it's a 5.4% ABV export lager. And uh, yeah, it's imported from St. Petersburg. And uh, what does it say on here? Oh, imported by Carlsberg. Uh, it says on the side that the, uh, the Baltica number no. seven, being known in more than 50 countries uh, around the world, has won numerous awards in industry and consumer national and international contests and competitions. That's one of the first things I learned at school was not to use the word and repeatedly in the same sentence. Anywho, uh, it's got the, uh, well, it says here, uh, Baltica number no. seven, Belongs to the Dortmunder export category. Due to elite aroma hops, it has a distinctively soft taste with slightly bitter accents and a pleasantly refreshing aftertaste. And it has a rather curious bottle cap. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of like a ring pull top thing. But yeah, it's not your usual cap. It's not normal at all. So this could be fun. So let's get it out into a glass and see what we think. I'm going to get a towel because I have a... Sneaky feeling, this one's going to get messy. Um, no, no it's not. Oh, okay. That's your cap. That's your cap, it's weird. But I got a distinctive smell. Yeah. Smells. Yeah. Anyway, let's pour it and then I'll tell you what it smells like. So the pour is... The right kind of colour. It's a good colour. And that is your beer in a vocation glass. It's the Baltica, obviously. Uh, so it is golden in colour. It's got a nice white head. Uh, we've got nucleation points letting the uh, the lager do its thing. So that's your beer up close in the glass for my rather distorted boat race. Look at that. Look like a one of those weird monkeys with a knob for a nose. Anyway, um, it looks all right. I like the look of that. It looks like a good lager. Crystal clear, golden in colour. And uh, yes, a whiff. It is very hoppy. It's got that classic lager aroma. It smells like a good lager. And it slightly reminds me that someone somewhere is having a Jamaican Woodbine. Um, so yeah. Interesting. Smells strong. Certainly smells stronger than the 5.4. Um, I like the smell. Let's have a taste. Cheers. Actually, that's quite nice. First thing that struck me was it's soft and silky. That is quite hopped and it is quite bitter for a lager. The malts are sitting there and the 5.4% is obvious. It is right there in your face. Clean, crisp, grassy. Dangerously good to drink. Excellent, excellent body, excellent mouthfeel. These Russians know how to make a nice lager. I want to say that bitterness is really, really welcome. I love a bitter beer. I don't normally get it in a lager. They tend to be really sweet. But this, spot on. Um... Finish, it's nice and bitter, slightly sweet on the finish, but bitter generally and hoppy. It's really, really good. And if memory serves, Mozza said it's a pretty decent bargain as well. I think it said, was it home bargains less than two quid a bottle? That's nice. That is nice. It's a 470 ml bottle as well, unusual size. Um, but yeah, 470 mil. Nice, I like it. 
even with the interesting cap. I've never seen before on any beer bottle. You know, it's a weird ring pull type. Grab it around the top. Anywho, before I'm in danger of waffling dangerously into uh, unfathomable territory, we're going to go to the, uh, the Aid Memoir of Untapped, which says there's 38,000 check ins, which is a lot. It is a metric fuck ton of check ins. It's got an average of 3.02, which I have a sneaky feeling my score is going to be higher than that. So, yeah, 38,000 check ins. It's popular. And beers must be popular for a reason. And I've not written on here the name of this one. Baltica number seven. There we go. So we're going to judge it on the usual five parameters of joy. The looks, the aroma, the body, the taste and the finish. And we're starting with the looks. Let's say it was a good looking beer. You get nice lacing from the head. It's a lovely colour. You've got good carbonation rolling up the beer from the nucleation points. And it just looks nice. It looks like a good glass of lager. Can I fault it? No, I can't. It looks the part. It fits the bill. It's good. Aroma. Now, on a, on a, on a good lager, uh, I look for hops, particularly those grassy, green, fresh hops. And... I get that in abundance. I, like I said, oh, I don't get it now. I'm not getting the uh, the slightly skunked smell um, anymore. Maybe that was just on the initial opening. Yeah, it's just, just beautiful hops now and a subtle bitterness. And yeah, green, grassy, in your face. Slightly spicy hops, I will say. I like it. Is it perfect? I think it is. Can't fault it. It's one of the strongest smelling lagers I've ever tried, and I like it a lot. The body. Now, most lagers tend to be quite light. This, it's not light. It's silky smooth. It's verging on like a, a nice stout in that sense. It's not heavy, but that silky smooth mouthfeel. The body is kind of a little bit more than medium. I like it a lot. It's going to get a third full point from me there. And the taste, you know. The green, grassy, hoppy aromas up front. Translate onto the flavour. The bitterness that comes from it as well. Really, really nice. Just a subtle bit of sweetness on the back end before it explodes into that bitterness yet again. Do I like it? I do. Do I like it a lot? Yeah. So I'm going to give it another full point. And the finish. The finish on this one, like I say, it starts out sweet. Then you get the hops and a bit of bitterness and it just sits there and sits there and it just invites you for another sip. It's dangerously drinkable at 5.4% and the finish is spot on. It is spot on. And it's not often I do this on uh, on many beers, let alone lagers. Five out of five. There we are. Like I said, I think it's the first Russian beer I've had. And on the evidence of this one, I think I'm going to try some more. This one is really, really tasty. Green, grassy, hoppy, bitter. It's everything I like in a beer, but in a lager. Yeah, there we go. So, Baltica, tasty stuff. Mozza, thank you very much indeed for giving me this one to try. I like it a lot. I'm going to be buying some more for sure. When I've run down my five or six months supply of stuff, I've got to get through. So there we go. We're at the point of the video where I'm going to say down there are some buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Do let me know in the comment section below if you've tried Baltica before. And I will see you again soon for another video.